we're all here. Very politically active time. You know, women are marching now. Thank you guys for doing that. I feel like you could be doing more, but that's just my opinion as a man. <laughs> I'd be mean, like, every woman that went to those marches should fuck a Muslim dude, get pregnant, send a picture of that sonogram to Donald Trump, like, hey, easy D. <laughs> this here baby could keep it, but if I do, I'll raise a Muslim. Or your move, motherfucker. <laughs> you get all the abortions you want that way. I promise. I'm doing my part. I don't shave before I fly anymore. <laughs> I flew to North Carolina the Saturday after the election. I had a full beard at the time, and so I upgraded my seat to the first seat in first class, just as a first person. Anybody saw. <laughs> just me in the front row with a smirk, reading the Quran, like, hey, what's going on, guys? Good to see you. That was a good book right here. It was fucking great stuff. Some guy got on the plane was like, hey, man, reads the other way. I was like, oh, you're right, my bad. <laughs> I'm not Muslim, it's just fun to fuck with people, you know? I'm not Christian, but I say Jesus Christ a lot. It makes me wonder, when did Jesus Christ become the phrase to say whenever some dope shit happened? And I think it's when Jesus was going around converting people's water into wine. And I was like, Jesus Christ, this is delicious. And he's like, chill man, they're looking for me. I think that's why the third commandment is don't take the Lord's name in vain. I think that's the original stop snitching. No, just me. <laughs> My girlfriend is Jewish, so I just learned about Passover. Apparently the Pharaoh was like, we gotta make Egypt great again. And <laughs> And then Moses is like, yo guys, we gotta move to Canada. <laughs> Shit's about to get crazy. You know, I got asked the other day, Nima, you concerned? You might get kicked out at some point because you look questionable. Because down the line, you never know, some racists might think that this is a radical Islamic terrorist. And to that I say, first of all, most Muslims are great people. That being said, I keep my Hindu papers on me at all times. <laughs> I got a little red dot in my back pocket. And second of all, if anyone tries to kick me out of this country because they think I'm a terrorist, I will blow this motherfucker up. I'm not leaving. Try me, motherfucker. ISIS. ISIS hates America. But ISIS, they all have wives. That's crazy to me. They all have wives. Say what you want about these terrorists, obviously evil pieces of shit, but these wives, you gotta admit, are the most down for whatever ride or die bitches on the planet. No? You're not laughing right now, but all of you will watch a show called Real Housewives of ISIS. You will all watch that show. And every last one of you motherfuckers will be watching Real Housewives of ISIS. Up next on Bravo, Real Housewives of ISIS, star Fatima the regular one, Aisha the gold digger, and Karen. Yeah, she don't know how she got there either. <laughs> it's gonna get worse. I know. What else is going on? I don't know. Weird time to be me, I'll tell you that much. 31. It's the oldest I've ever been. Thank you. <laughs> Oh, we with my girl for about three years now, so we fight in public. That's all that means. <laughs> three years in, she's just airing my dirty laundry in the streets. Like, shave your dick shit. I'm like, we're at, we're at the movies. Shave your dick shit. Why does hair grow on your dick? Why doesn't hair grow on my hands? That's a bigger question. If you're really asking me. No, I'm the only person that's ever thought that. Why is there no hair on my hands? Everywhere else there's hair. There's no hair on my hands. That don't make any sense. No, I'm the only one that's ever been high. There was a, what the fuck is this? 
I think weed is the answer to most of the world's problems. It really is. I sincerely believe that, and I'm not just saying that because I sense a high pothead population in this room. I genuinely believe that. You know, in the Middle East especially, I think. You know, Mexico builds tunnels, Mexicans build tunnels underneath the United States to deliver weed. Palestinians build tunnels underneath Israel to deliver bombs. I feel like the Palestinians are missing a huge market opportunity. <laughs> weed is an answer. I've never had problems when I've been high. I never want to fight anybody. Or... In high school, I mean, there was that, a few years ago, there was that fucking shooter that was like, he wrote a manifesto. Remember that? He was like, I'm fucking, I never get laid. I'm going to shoot a bunch of people up. I never got laid in high school, but I would go home after class, get high, I'd look in the mirror, and then I would wonder what my life would be like if I didn't have eyebrows for hours. Oh shit! What if I did this? Am I confused? <laughs> 